Pleasant afternoon to you all. Thank you for joining us. Give us a few minutes before we start. While you're here, I'm going to ask that all members who are joining with us today type your name and the name of your school in our chat, in your chat. Excellent going boys and girls. I'm seeing a number of schools from across our region. We're seeing Kendall Primary, Middle Quarters Primary, El Instituto, Rice Primary, Frankfield Primary, we're seeing Pike Primary as well, Mandible Primary, Big shout out to Nightingale Primary, Bethabra, Marie Cole, Thornton, Mispa, Rose Hill Primary. Welcome, 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 guys. Welcome, boys and girls, and thank you for joining in with us today. I am Tashane Williams. I am Tashane Williams, and I'll be your teacher for today's session. Now, today we are going to be looking at set theory. I see a number of students joining in here with us today. Feel free to comment your name and the name of your school in our chat. We also want you to recognize the hand, the raised hand feature, as this is what you'll be using throughout our session. Now, once you raise your hand, we will open your microphone for you to, to speak, as well as we'll be utilizing the chat feature for your responses. We also want to welcome all those members who are also joining us on our YouTube page. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, boys and girls, let's get right to it. Now, you will also have Mr. Johnson. Mr. Karen Johnson is your personal assistant in our, in our chat today. And while you are responding in our chat, Mr. Johnson will be commenting on your responses as well. So you have your personal assistance there with you all the time. 
Now in today's session, our objectives are, you will name and list members in the intersection or union of two sets. We'll also have you draw Venn diagrams to show the intersection or union of two sets. And finally, we will be looking at how we go about using the symbols associated with sets, set operations, especially intersection and union. Let's go right ahead. Now let's review a few ideas you should know. I'm sure that you would have heard of the word or even done some ideas related to sets, either from grade four, five, and now grade six. Let's review some things you should know. When you think of sets, what words come to mind? Type your answers in the chat. What words come to mind when you think of sets? Type your responses in the chat. Wow, I see our chat lighting up. Very good. I see a number of persons utilizing phrases. We're, we're seeing groups for the majority of persons, group of objects, group of elements. Wonderful, members, numbers, elements. Awesome, keep it going. Very good boys and girls. Now, if you know some words other than elements or members or groups, feel free to type them in the chat as well. And if you don't know of any words or can't recall any of the words, let's go right to our next activity and see if we can refresh your memory. Now, let's play a short game. Now, this game is, can you spot the odd one out? Hmm. Here we have four options. Three of the words are associated with sets. And one is simply the odd one out, meaning it is not related to set ideas. A, universal set, B, subset, C, division, and D, empty set. Type your responses in the chat. Which is the odd one out? I see the chat lighting up. Who is that on top there? Dante, Tiana. Wow, C, I see C going right through. Awesome, boys and girls. You are doing a fantastic job. Well done. Now, C is the odd one out. Very good. Division is the odd one out. Let's try another one, boys and girls. Here we have four symbols. We have A. And I want you to type in the chat the odd one out again, quickly as possible. A is a pair of curly brackets. B is a zero, or we could say it's an O with a strike through. C is a U. And D is pi, that symbol pi. Type your answers in the chat, Mr. Johnson. I see the chat lighting up over there. Oh, we have a set of brilliant grade six students here with us today, man. Wow, wow, wow. I have not seen an incorrect answer so far. Wow. Excellent, boys and girls. Now, if you said the answer is D, you are correct. Pi is the odd one out. Let's try again. A, union, B, ratio, C, Venn diagram, and D, intersection. Can you spot the odd one out? Come on, math whizzes. Let's see your answer in the chat. Wow, Shaila, Jadon. Barnes, Kimoya, Lanish, 
Wow, excellent, excellent, excellent. I feel so proud of you boys and girls. You are doing terrific. If you said the odd one out is ratio, you are once again correct. All right, boys and girls, let's step it up a notch. I want you to observe the diagram on the right. I want you to observe the Venn diagram on the right. What do you notice about this diagram? Type your answers in the chat. Do you recognize that there are two ovals? Hmm. What are these ovals? Do you know what they're called? Type your answers in the chat. Right. So here we have Joshua is saying, Mr. Johnson, I know the chat is scrolling really fast for us to even try to, to read one of the responses. Mr. Johnson, I see some persons explaining in the chat. So we are seeing persons saying intersection, they're seeing intersection, they're seeing universal set, they're seeing a Venn diagram, they're seeing PUBG. All right, very good. Okay, boys and girls, if you recognize the green, oval, the green oval is representing the set of players that play PUBG, while the blue oval is representing another set of players that play Call of Duty. Awesome, boys and girls. Good going so far. Keep up the good work. All right, boys and girls, let me try once more. Let's talk about the same Venn diagram. What does the U represent? And I'm going to be using my, 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 my laser pointer on screen. What does the U represent? I see someone raising their hand, Mr. Johnson. Yes, yeah, several persons have their... Wait, Galaxy A10, there's no uh, name, would uh, want to rename yourself. All right. So Galaxy A10, we could move to the next one, Joshua. What does the U represent? Type your answers in the chat too. Not everyone will be able to respond using their microphone. So it's best to utilize our chat. Wow, I see a, a, a mixture of responses. So again, I'm using my pointer to highlight the you I'm referring to. It's in the top left-hand corner of my, my rectangle. So we see two answers popping up. Some persons are saying universal set, while some persons are saying union. Hmm, I wonder who is correct. As we proceed through this presentation, you will become more enlightened as to what this you represent. Let's try another. Okay, boys and girls. Can you list the members of the universal set? Who are the members of the universal set? Type your answers in the chat. Let's see who is getting the, the members of the universal set. Wow. Chris and... Okay, so we are seeing a number of persons saying Chris and Shirley are the members of the universal set. Derek and Jane, so we're getting a mixture of responses. We're seeing some 
other responses too that are also worth noting. Boys and girls, by the time we're through with this presentation, you will be able to correctly identify the members of the universal set. Let's try another one. Thank you so much for responding to this question. Take an interest into this other question. Can you tell me the name of the member of the PUBG set? Can you tell me the name of one member of the PUBG set? Name one member that play PUBG in the set show. Wow, the chat lighting up again. Sam, Sam, Kev. Wow, Kevin. Derek, Jean. Wow. All right, boys and girls. Good going so far. Very good. All right. At least everyone is, is doing an excellent job at this one. Let's try another one. List all the members who play PUBG. So since you are able to identify one member, I want you to name all the members who play PUBG. Right, I see Sam Kev Robin, Sam Kev Robin, Sam Kev Robin. I see some answers too, including Derek and Jane. Okay, boys and girls, good going. So a number of you would have, have had the correct answer. And if you did not have the correct answer, it meant your answer wasn't completed, right? So the names you gave are members of the PUBG set, but you may have not listed all the members. But as we proceed, you will be able to identify all the members as we proceed. So we are coming back to this, boys and girls. Good going. Now, boys and girls, I want you to list the names of the members who play Call of Duty. I wonder who is able to name. All right, Call of Duty, Galaxy A10 on top of things. Kimaya McKenzie, Laurie Keisha. All right, very good, very good. All right, Derek and Jane. Excellent, excellent going, boys and girls. Excellent going. All right. Now remember, Call of Duty is the set that is highlighted on your screen here. I'm using my laser. This is the oval, or you may be seeing a circle, that is highlighting the set of members who play Call of Duty. While the green set is highlighting the members who play PUBG. All right, let's move along. All right, boys and girls, from the Venn diagram to my left, how many students play both PUBG and Call of Duty? How many persons play both PUBG and Call of Duty? We have a terrific set of grade six students here, Mr. Johnson, I'm seeing. All right. Yes, we do. All right. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Excellent. All Seen right. a lot of tools. Wow, wow. Very good, boys and girls. Let's step it up. Who are the members of the universal set that are not a part of Call of Duty? Who are the members of the universal set that are not a part of Call of Duty? Who are the members who are of the universal set but are not a part of Call of Duty?
Wow. So, the members who are part of the universal set includes Chris, Shirley, Kev, Robin, and Sam. All the members within this rectangle that are not in the Call of Duty set would represent those members. Very good, boys and girls. All right. Okay, boys and girls. Could you name someone who does not play Call of Duty? Type your answer in the chat. One person who does not play Call of Duty. All right. We are seeing multiple responses here and multiple responses that are correct. All right. So Sam, Robin, and Kev do not play Call of Duty. And we could even take it a bit further. Chris and Shirley play neither, neither of the games, right? So Chris and Shirley also would be in that set of persons who do not play Call of Duty. Very good. All right. We have labored much on this aspect here. Now, how many persons do not play Call of Duty? How many persons do not play Call of Duty? All right. All right. Very good. We're seeing five, five. We're seeing some sixes, some. Right. So the Call Four, of Duty. five, six, seven coming from the chat. Right. So the persons who do not play Call of Duty would be Sam 1, Robin 2, Kev 3, Chris, and Shirley. That would be 5%. So all the members that are not within Call of Duty set would be the members who do not play Call of Duty. The members outside of, of this blue circle here are the members who do not play Call of Duty. Let me rephrase. Good going. All right. How many students play PUBG? I wonder. Hmm. Boys and girls, I know you're familiar with these two, two games, you know, PUBG and Call of Duty. So here we have it on a diagram. How many students play PUBG only? So they don't play any other game based on the diagram here, but they play PUBG only. Who are those members? Right. In order for you to tell me how many, you would have to know the persons. Good. So, how many students play PUBG only? Would be Sam, Robin, and Kev. And that would be three members. Very good, boys and girls. Very, very good. All right. Okay, boys and girls, let's do a quick summary here. Now, a set is a well-defined collection of objects, and I'm sure you're familiar with this, this terminology, a set, a well-defined collection of objects. Now, if you look closely to the right, we have a set here. Can you identify the name of this set? What name could we give to this set? Hmm. I want you to describe this set. Put your answer in the chat. And for those of you who are on YouTube, I know you should be having fun. I, I'm sure the ones on, on Zoom here are having an, an amazing time. Right, so some persons are saying a set of shapes. Very good. Very good, boys and girls. So on the right here, we have set A, which is a set of shapes, right? So set A, a set of shapes. 
Very good. All right, boys and girls. Now, the elements, otherwise known as members, and I want you to remember these words that you gave me earlier, you know, that's related to set members and elements. So elements, otherwise known as members too, so we can use them interchangeably, of a set are the objects in the set. Can you tell me the, the objects within set A? Type your answers in the chat. Remember, you can use the race and feature boys and girls. What, what, what are the members of set A? We're seeing four, six, eight, ten. We're seeing some persons even describing the set. Wonderful. All right. Very good, boys and girls. Four, six, eight, ten, and two. All the members within this circle, within this set here, are the members of set A. Very good. All right, boys and girls, let's take another look. So here we have another Venn diagram on the right of our screen. Can you tell me how many members play Call of Duty? Try once more. Sounds like a familiar question. How many members play Call of Duty? How many? Type your answers in the chat. Seeing a number of fours, we've seen two, seen four, seen two. Remember, Call of Duty is represented by this circle. So the set of members who play Call of Duty are all within this circle. Try again if you did not get the answer correct at first. All the members in this circle play Call of Duty. If you said four, you are correct. Well tried for those of you who did not get the answer correctly. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at ways of describing sex. Now, I want you to take an interest. I want you to observe my Venn diagram on the right of my screen here. Right? I want you to observe the Venn diagram on the right of my screen. I want you to observe that we have two sets, set A and set B. Now, can you list the members of set A? Try once more. Let me see how well you are doing this time. All the members of set A this time. All right, I see boys and girls doing a, a, a terrific job over there. Okay, boys and girls. If you said set A is a set that contains two, four, six, eight, and 10, you are correct. Now, boys and girls, I want you to look at these two symbols. These two symbols are known as, well, we use these symbols when we are represent, representing a group, right? And these two symbols, right, the meaning of these two symbols is a set of. So once we're using these, once we're talking about sets or listing elements within a set or members, we have to always be mindful that we need to use our symbols correctly. Now take a look. Now, if we are listing the members, we have to say set A is the set of, right? See the set of, the symbol, the two curly brackets representing the set of. If you're using a laptop, it's to, the, it's to the right of the P button on your laptop, right? Now, you will see how we utilize the symbol. Set A is a set of two, four, six, 
8 and 10. Now, can you give a verbal description of what set A is? So we know the members in set A. Can we describe them? How would you describe them? Put your answer in the chat. Saskia, I want you to look back at your answers. You have to know. So we are seeing a number of persons here. Good going, good going, good going, guys. Right. They are set of. So let me see. If you said set A is a set of even numbers, you are correct. Now, there are other ways that we can. There are other ways that we can um, describe this set. And it could be a set. Set A is even numbers from 2 to 10, right? So we could, either of these two answers are correct. Very good. All right, boys and girls. Now it's your turn. So we have the same diagram from the previous slide. And in this case, I want you to list the members of set B. But bear in mind, I want you to use up your curly brackets, right? Because when we are listing members of a set, we need to utilize the curly brackets to show that they are a set of, they belong to the same group. Wow. Oh, you guys are so fast. You guys just lighting up the chat with some, some answers here. Wow. Some people are even preempting what the next question I'm going to be asking. Excellent job, boys and girls. Now, if you said set B consists of members 2, 3, 5, and 7, you are correct once more. Good going. Now, B is a set of, hmm, who can now describe this set? I saw some persons describing the set of, of objects already, you know. Some person says prime numbers, some person says odd numbers. Well, if you said set B is the first four prime numbers, you are correct. If you also said set B are prime numbers less than 10, way to go, boys and girls. You are also correct. All right, let's step it up a notch, boys and girls. Let, let's look at this task. Now, I'm going to take you on a journey. Let's go. Now, I want you to look at the Venn diagram once more. And you notice I'm, I keep calling this Venn diagram because, as you can see, once you see a, a box and two circles in it, or even a circle or three circles sometimes, it is a Venn diagram, right? So quickly, as you, you look at this, you could say, oh, wait, this is a Venn diagram based on how it looks, right? Now, in this case, I want you to take a notice of the fine print at the bottom of my screen. It says P represents PUBG and C represents Call of Duty. Boys and girls, I hope you're noting that we're using up our PUBG game and our Call of Duty ideas in, in our class, you know. And I'm sure a number of you play PUBG, right? So again, P represents PUBG and C represents Call of Duty. Hmm. I want you to note the name of the students once more. Same Venn diagram we brought back. What are the members, boys and girls, that are common or play both games, right? That they are common to both set P and set C. Who are the members that are common, right? They are common to both set P and set C. Mr. Johnson, what is the chat saying over there? Derek and Jane, most predominant at this time. Derek and Jane. Right, right, right. 
I see some names here, Derek and Jane. I see Denon giving Derek and Jane. Well done, Denon. Jade, Romario, Saskia, Denzel. Wow. Zoe, Devante. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. Good job, boys and girls. So, my question to you is, what are the members that play both PUBG and Call of Duty? If you said Derek and Jane, you're on a roll, boys and girls. You are indeed correct. Remember, we have to utilize our curly brackets to show that these two members belong to the same set. So it's a set of members that play or is common to both sets, right? So Derek and Jane would be members who play both PUBG and Call of Duty. Well done. Now, the shaded region here, boys and girls, represents, right? As you realize, if you realize it is an overlap of two sets, so set P and set C overlap. Are you seeing that? Right. So this shaded region here is showing that, okay, in this area of my, in this region here, these members would have been the persons who play both games, right? So if you said Derek and Jane, very good. Now, look at this symbol. This is the, this look like an N or an upside down U, boys and girls. Do you know the name of this symbol? Type the answer in the chat. You know the name of this symbol. Hmm. You know the name of this symbol. You've used this symbol before. Boys, your teachers are doing an amazing job, boys and girls. I'm seeing some excellent answers coming from our chat here. And if you don't know the answer, that is totally fine. Boys and girls, the name of this symbol is called the intersection. And the intersection, how do we represent the intersection of two sets? We say P intersects C. So this is how we, we read this mathematical sentence here, this, 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 as it relates to set. P intersects C. So set P intersects C would be Derek and Jane. All right, but I also want you to realize that the intersection of two or more sets is the set of elements that are common to both sets, right? I have to remember that word, you know, they're, they're common, so they're intersecting, right? And the intersection of sets is denoted by the symbol, that upside down U there, right? That end looking intersection. Right, very good. So remember the name of this symbol, boys and girls. It's called intersection. All right. How about the members who play PUBG and Call of Duty? So I want you to list all the members who play PUBG and Call of Duty. All the members. Hmm. All right. I want to know all the, the names of the members who play both PUBG and Call of Duty all together. Now, if you said Sam, Kev, Robin, Derek, Jane, Laurie, and Keisha, you are correct. And remember again, boys and girls, you utilize your curly brackets. It's very important to say the set of members who play PUBG and Call of Duty are all the members within set P and all the members within set C. Now, this shaded region here represents all the members of set P and set C. Are you seeing that? Very good. Now, do you know the name of this symbol here? This is a U. Hmm. 
type your answer in the chat for me. All right, I see some person getting onto what I'm trying. I'm over here trying to trick you, you know, guys. But it seems as if you guys are smarter than me. Well done, well done, well done. Now, if you said this symbol is called union, you are indeed correct. Think about when a couple is getting married and we call it a union of two members, right? Like a marriage. The union where two people come together, just like set P and set C, they come together, right? Now, how do we read these symbols here? Right? This is what we call a notation. It says P union C. So if it's a union, we're talking about all the members in P and all the members in C combined. Now, this is how it should look. P union C is equal to Sam, Kev, Derek. Robin, Jane, Laurie, and Keisha. And if you said the union of two sets is a set containing all elements that are in A and B, you are correct. Very good, boys and girls. No, I didn't want to move on before I went and look. I want you to look at my pointer here. Are you realizing the U in the top left-hand corner of my screen? Right. This is also a special symbol. Once it is in the, in the top left-hand corner of your, your, your rectangle here, right? It means the universal set. So this U in the top left-hand corner means the universal set. Okay, boys and girls? So I don't want you to mix it up with union, right? So we couldn't say P universal C, no. We're looking at P union C, right? Union of P and C. But this U here is called the universal set. And what is the universal set? Here, all the members within the box, within the rectangle, are members of the universal set. And we're gonna look further at other examples how we look at universal set. Stay curious, boys and girls, stay tuned. We have much more to cover. Now let's take for instance here, boys and girls. So now we can list the members and we can name the number of elements and we know union and we know intersection. We even know about the Venn diagram, right? We know about universal set, boys and girls. We now need to create our own Venn diagram. But let's take, for instance, this little script here. Here we have the Browns family. There are Michelle, who is a mother, and father, Mike. So Michelle, the mother, and father, Mike, are part of the Browns family. They have three children, Christina, Rohan, and Kayla. They also live with Uncle Christopher, who is a trained teacher. Once again, in the Browns family, there are Michelle and Mike. They have three children, Christina, Rohan, and Kayla. They also live with their Uncle Christopher, who is a trained teacher. Now, boys and girls. Do you know the members of this universal set? In this case, we have described the members of the universal set for you. Are you able to tell me the members of the Browns family? List all the members of the Browns family for me. Type your answers in the chat and remember, use your curly brackets. All right. Type your answers in the chat. Use your curly brackets.
All right. Okay. Okay, boys and girls. So if we look back, we we'll recognize that Michelle, Mike, the father, Christina, Rohan, Kayla, and Christopher are all members of the Browns family. In this case, we're saying the Browns family represents the universal set. Well done. Now, boys and girls, set A here, as you can see, is described as the set of males in that family. Can you identify all the males in the Browns family? Type your answer in the chat. I'm looking, let me see which school is giving us the correct answer here. Kendra Reed is saying Mike, Rohan, Christopher. Natalie is saying Mike and Rohan. All right. Now, boys and girls, Mike, Rohan, and Christopher are all the males in the Browns family. Well done. Now let's take another group from this bronze family. And from this bronze family, we have set B, which is a set of children. So set B is a set of children in the bronze family. List the members of set B, boys and girls. Hmm. List the members of set B. Remember, they are the children in the family. Hmm. DeAngelo, Mario, Shyla. Remember to use your curly brackets. If you don't use your curly brackets, you know, guys, you lose a point. Right? If you use your curly brackets, you get full marks. Good going, boys and girls. If you said Christina, Rohan, and Kayla is a set of children, you are indeed correct. All right. Okay, boys and girls. So again, here are the, the two sets. We have set A and set B, and we have the universal set at the top. Now, we want to be able to represent this information using a Venn diagram. Do you remember that? So from the, 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 the scenario we read earlier, we wanted to create a Venn diagram. But in this case, we have pulled out the information from the, from, from, from the, the script. And we are looking at the Browns family one, which is a universal set. Set A, which is the males in the family. And set B, which is the the group of children in the family. So here we have the, the box, right? So we draw a box. Then we put the U to represent the universal set. And remember, it's always to the top left of the box. But now, boys and girls, after we've done that, we needed to draw two sets, right? Now, what are the names of these sets? Set A which is a set of males, and set B, which is a set of children in the family. Now, I want you to tell me the names. So type in, well, you actually did that already. So I won't ask you to type this time. Now, based on what you said, you said the names of the males that should go in this set would be Mike and Christopher. And in set B, the set of children would be Christina and Kayla. Boys and girls, do you notice anything? Hmm. What are you wondering now? A hand is raised. Mr. Johnson, could you kindly open microphone for one of these students? 
Right. I'd love to hear from a few of our members here. So let's hear from D'Angelo. D'Angelo, I'm asking you to unmute. Viumi. Go again. Sir. Be you, sir. All right. Do you notice anything? And so we are, we are populating. Oh. We are populating our sets here. Do you recognize anything? Yes, sir. You put up A. Yes, we put up set A and set B, and we put in two members here. But how many members should be in set A? Three. Three. Who are those members? Tell me the name of the persons who should go in, uh, who we should put in set A. Um, All right. It's not that you have to remember it. It's at the top of your screen. All right. Let's take another while you think about it. Let's go with Shaheen. Asking Shaheen to unmute. Yes, Shaheen, go ahead. Do you notice anything, Shaheen, about these two sets? Yes. Tell me what is your observation. What is your observation? Set A doesn't has Rohan's name in it, and set B doesn't have Rohan name in it as well. Okay. So are you saying that we should put Rohan in set A and put him again in set B? Can you please repeat? Are you saying we should put Rohan in set A and set B? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. But let's take a further look at this. Shaheen, right? Remind me of your name. Shaheen. Shaheen, right. Very good. All right. So let's take a look here. Now, we are thinking about Rohan. We are wondering, why is it Sir didn't put Rohan's name in, the, in set A or set B? Now, Rohan could go set A and Rohan could go in set B. But boys and girls, do you realize that Rohan is just one person? Shaheen, you realize Rohan is just one person and he can't be in two places at the same time? Yes, sir. Now, how do we go about representing, using a diagram to represent um, Rohan being in two sets? You Let's have take to a look. use an overlapping circle. We have to use an overlapping circle. All right. So you're preempting me, right? No. You're indeed a true math whiz. Now, if you said we have to overlap our, our, our sets, you are on the right track. Now, the overlap means that Rohan is common to both. You remember that word common? Yes, it's common sir. to both sets. So we could not put Rohan in, the, in, in this Venn diagram twice because... We just can't because Rohan is not two different. It's not two different Rohans. It's just one Rohan. And if we have him twice, it means our diagram would uh, represent members incorrectly. Would you agree? Yes, sir. Right. So thank you so much for participating. And thank you so much for telling me that, sir, it should overlap. You're doing an amazing job. And I'm sure your teachers are proud of you just the same. Well done. You, yes, may un thank you. You, may, you may mute. So, boys and girls, again, this section, this shaded portion here that I'm highlighting, that row and is in, represents an overlap or what we call Rohan is common to both sets. He is a male and he's also a, one of the children in the family. So boys and girls, this portion here, this shaded region here is the intersection of both sets. 
Okay, smarty pants. Let's see who is going to be the top scholar today. What does, and I want you to take a note of this now, boys and girls. Big question coming up. Big, big question coming up. Now, what does the shaded part of the Venn diagram here represent? Hmm. So my Venn diagram here to, my, to the left of your screen. Okay, we're getting a lot of responses in the chat. C, Bs, Ds, and so on. Okay, boys and girls, just give us a moment to get this screen sharing up and running. Okay, boys and girls, I hope that you are able to see the screen. Okay, so we have One moment, please.
All right, boys and girls. So forgive us, we are just having a little technical difficulty. We're going to go back in this slide in a moment's time. Okay, so just checking, are you able to see the presentation? Just put in the chat if you are able to, to see the presentation. All right, wonderful. All right, so we have, what does the shaded part of the Venn diagram represent? Is it the universal set A, B? We have set A, intersect set Y, C, set Y, or D, set X, union set Y. What do we have? All right, so I'm seeing in the chat some Bs and some Cs. All right, some persons are not certain, but let us see. All right. So if you said C, set, set, that would be correct. That is set Y. All right, so we look at the shaded set and Y is shaded. All right, very good. Next question. What part of the Venn diagram is shaded? Please put your answers or your responses in the chat. So we have the options A to D. Okay, seeing some Bs, some persons are saying X union Y. Okay, so we notice X is shaded, Y is shaded, and also the overlapping section is shaded. All right, so what's that? Okay, so that would be X union Y, all right? What about this one? What part is shaded? So look closely. I know it's kind of faded. So we can see that, that shaded area, right? So just look closely there. All right. Let's see in the chat. Okay, I'm seeing B, I'm also seeing some A's. All right, but I'm seeing mostly B. So let's return and see. Okay, so if you said B, that would be correct. So that is the area that is common to both sets, right? So two is common to or is in set X and also set Y. All right, great job. Okay, so now we are going to be looking at this. So the Venn diagram shows the extracurricular activities. So we have science, one set, we have math, and we have the universal set. And by now you know what the universal set is. So we have here list the members, and it's, it's, it's already there, boys and girls. This one is a giveaway. It said list the members of science that is common to science and math. And, um, this slide is a giveaway, boys and girls. It's basically giving away the answer. Ho hopefully, I don't have the other slides giving away the answer. But just wanted to appreciate that the members that would be common to both sets for science and math would be set and try. Right? See, they're in the overlapping area. Let me use my my pointer 
All right. And of course, the union of science and math would be all the members that are listed in both sets. Okay. Including Troy and Set. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we should have eight. Notice, boys and girls, that we only list set and try once. Okay, let us move on. All right, so we're going to leave a homework activity for you guys. So this will be your homework activity. So let me just go through it a bit to just set the, the, the platform for you. So Diana, Nico, and Susan, all like bananas. Ben, Paul, and Francesca prefer mangoes. Tiara, light boat. Create your own Venn diagram to represent the information above. So that is part one. Part two, list the members who like bananas. Part three, list the members who like bananas and mangoes. Part four, who like mangoes but not bananas. And part five, give a suitable title to the Venn diagram. So this is going to be your homework activity, boys and girls. All right, stay tuned. Look forward to um, our Facebook. Subscribe to the channel and also um, find us on Facebook where we will post the answer. Thanks for participating, boys and girls. We hope that you had a good time, that you learned something. All right. Mr. Williams, I see that you're back. Yes, Sir Johnson. Thank you so much for filling in for me. Boys and girls, I'm, I missed you terribly in that short space of time. I hope you had um, a lot of fun. I believe um, you would have covered much in today's lesson. And just to wrap up, I know you would have been able to identify the universal set, um, identify sets within the universal set, of course. Um, you would have been able to look at intersection and union, list the members and name the number of members as well within the set that was required. Boys and girls, you have done a terrific job. Mr. Johnson, thank you so much once more. And before long, we say goodbye. Until next time, boys and girls, we meet next week again. Look out for our next session. Our next session, boys and girls, is on percentage, grade six, and that's January 19th at 4 p.m. just the same. I hope you had a terrific time. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye, Abby. Bye, Thank Jada. You, boys, Bye, DJ. Bye, Mihalia. Rikalia, AJ, you all did a wonderful job today.